Good day to you and welcome to another Paddocks Club video tutorial. Today we're going to ask the question which in fact Valerie Thompson on the discussion forum first raised, who is liable for levies when a unit is subject to a user fract? Um, the story that Val told was that a husband had left his unit to his children in his will. Um, he gives the widow um, a, a user fract over the property. So the questions are, who has the voting rights at meetings? Is it the children or is it the owners? Does the, 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 uh, the, the who are the owners or is it the widow? Um, the widow refuses to pay a special levy and so do the children. And what must the body corporate do? And um, who does the body corporate sue for outstanding and ordinary uh, uh, or special levies? Well, let's first just look at the whole question of what is a user fract. Uh, it's a personal limited right which entitles a person to have the use and enjoyment of another person's property. Um, this means that an identified person has the registered right to use the unit but isn't the owner. Uh, in this particular case, the, um, the, the husband in his will was saying, I want to leave the, the, uh, the unit to my children ultimately, but for so long as she lives, um, my widow, my wife, for, uh, will have um, the use of it. Um, and that's the, 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 that's the basic position. It's not like a tenancy. In fact, the user fractory, in this case the wife, could actually let out the unit and take the rental. So it's an entirely different thing. The issue on the voting rights is fairly straightforward. Um, these remain with the owner, in this case the children in whose name the unit is registered. So they're the people who are entitled to go to meetings, to participate, to vote and all that sort of thing. But the levy liability, uh, the Act and Prescribed Management Rules deal with owner's obligation to pay but they certainly don't deal with user fractories at all. So we look to the common law and the common law principle is that the user fractory must effect and pay for ordinary repairs, bear the expenses for the normal maintenance of the property in the state in which he or she received it. On the other hand, extraordinary expenses charged upon the property must be borne by the owner. And one can see the logic, the owner is the person who has the long-term interest in the property. The courts have held, but in respect of a freehold property, that the user fractory must pay the rates and taxes, for example, in addition to maintenance and that sort of thing. And there has been an argument uh, made in a number of, uh, of, of places that the user fractory must pay all levies. My view is slightly different. I believe that the user fractory must pay all levies raised for ordinary repairs and maintenance. But in line with common law principles, levies for extraordinary expenses, which will normally require a unanimous resolution, um, such as when one is wanting to do a luxurious improvement to the common property or one wants to buy the property next door and add it to the common property, those must be paid by the registered owner. And as to who must be sued, well, in any instance where the body corporate is not entirely sure and there's a user fract over a property, my suggestion is that you sue both the bare dominium holders, that's the registered owners of the property, and the user fractory together and let the court decide who must pay. Thank you very much for watching this and we can chat more about it in the discussion forum.